Good evening all, welcome to Sports in the North. I'm Rumiko Knowles. Topping sports, it's Friday and that means it's time for another exciting edition of Female in Sports. Tonight, Jay Philippe talks with Nishka McDonald about her basketball career. In this segment of Females in Sports, I sat with Nishka McDonald, whose basketball career was cut short due to a major injury while playing in college, but that has not stopped her in helping other aspiring athletes take their talents to the next level. Let's talk about you as a basketball player first and foremost. Um, how did you get into basketball? Well, I'm um, just having an older brother and watching him um, play on the parks with his friends. And just, I just liked the competitiveness of basketball and the intensity, so I started to pick up a basketball and it was history from there. So basketball took you to, to, to college? Yes, sir. Talk about your college experience and what had happened. Um, well, it was short. Um, I got a scholarship from the Darrell Says Showcase, and um, I went to school and about two months on our first scrimmage game, I got an injury that led to me having an amputation. So. My college career was pretty short. I uh, went on a play and I was tripped up and someone landed on my leg and it went out of place. And um, later on down the line, they figured out that the, um, my knee had cut off the circulation to my ankle. So by that time it was too late and they had to amputate. But you've been involved with um, coaching a lot of young females now. I see you on Instagram, Facebook, training, that kind of stuff. What motivates you to want to be able to help persons so much as it relates to basketball? It's just my love for basketball. I can't stay away. I can't play anymore, so I have to find a way to stay active in the sport. So any way I can help or stay in a gym around a basketball, I'll, I'll do it. I like to work with people that are willing to put in the extra work that is needed to go to the next level. So anybody that shows me that they're willing to wake up at 5 in the morning and come out to the beach and, 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 and work out strenuous work, work, work I'll work with them. Do you miss playing the game of basketball? Every now and again, I would see you shooting some shots on Instagram, four or five in a row. <laughs> of course, you know, I'll, I'll never not miss the sport, but um, it's crazy how God, God plans work. I, I know it's cliche to say that everything happens for a reason, but I find more joy in teaching the sport than I did in playing it. So it kind of worked out for the best. Yeah, yeah. Summer? Coming up, I know you have, you're a part of Buddy Hill Summer Camp sometimes and other stuff. Any other projects this summer that you're working on uh, as it relates to basketball? Just uh, um, making sure that my kids that are under New Era right now have a, a breakout summer. So we're going in summer from 5 a.m. straight to the nighttime. That's all I'm focusing on this summer is training. For more on Nishka McDonald, tune into ZNS Network News for the entire segment. Great story. Well, that's a check on sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Ramiko Knowles. Until next time, enjoy your weekend.